Okay, so I finished sterilizing the agar uh, for 90 minutes in a well, 15 psi in a pressure cooker. And this here, what you're looking at is my still air box. Inside, I have two silicone um, uh, oven mitts, and um, th they're in there to absorb the heat from the agar that I'll be putting in there. Uh, while it's in the jars, it'll be very, very hot. It'll burn right through that plastic if it's put on top of it. It'll burn through your, it'll burn your tabletop. Um, those silicon mats, they'll, they'll, um, they'll mitigate the heat. Um, I have already inside of the box, I have my Petri dishes already stacked up and ready to go. Um, I'm going to put the camera inside the still air box now. I'm going to start bringing over my jars. And I won't be talking... Uh, as I'm working because I don't want to introduce any contaminants inside that box. I want to keep everything as still as possible. All right.
And there we have it. Okay. I'm gonna remove the things that I have on top of this box. <clears throat> and I'll take out the camera. See, it's a had a little bit of a difficult time there, but uh, working inside that small box is uh, pretty tiring. Um, I'm going to take these petri dishes out here and get them on a more level area, and then I'll begin putting some power film around the edges, and I'll show you how to do that. And that will keep them sterile. Um, hopefully we got a pretty good percentage of sterile Petri dishes here. Um, I'm thinking my technique wasn't perfect. Uh, but it, it should work out. I only made 15. I still have a, a small uh, jar of agar. Uh, I decided not to use it. Um... But I'll make another video, I'll show you the power film, and then should be done.